growing up watching Static Shock when I before like just knowing like before like trying to like uh, recognize who the actors was behind the voice. Mm -hmm. the, but when I heard Static Shock, I originally thought it was Urkel. <laughs> I told you that it sounds like like Young Jaleel White. <laughs> I've never heard that. I'm telling you, next, like, now, next time look at just like I, I'm pretty sure you can do an Urkel, but next time just kind of look at it and see because like that's what I do. Or, what, I, what I used to think before I started, you know, before I grew up and knew. But I was like, I, because I was fresh off of watching, you know, Family Matters with my family, and I'm like, hey, I think that's. I think that's Sonic. I think that's the same guy. And it was like, <laughs> you know, as a kid thinking that, but it was not. It was I mean, definitely you. Um, <laughs> did they tap in with you at all for them? For the, I know that Michael B. Jordan is trying to head the movie and trying to get it out there. Um, they talked. I think they said that the, uh, Caleb from uh, Stranger Things supposedly is rumored to be static, but I know that you're just the voice of him. But like, have, has anybody? Are you involved in any of that process at all? No. Oh. No, and they. I mean, actors are the last piece of the puzzle okay you know um unless it's some big superstar and they're trying to you know sell the movie off tom cruise you know yeah. then tom cruise is a producer and, but and this is one of the things everybody you know was hitting me up on just like hey see if they can cast me aesthetic like can you act <laughs> like people was re reaching out to you <laughs> Right. I'm like, okay, because obviously you don't know nothing about Hollywood. You're asking an actor to get you an acting job. You know what? That's that's like ask, asking a meter maid to sell you a car. Right. <laughs> like, she around cars, but she don't control them. Oh, man. And, and the, all these people talking about, like, I could be static. It's like, and I can, and I, I don't know, Michael has, Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan hasn't, you know, said, said anything about this, but from what I know about show business, they can't cast Static until they have the script. That is true. Because the thing is, not you can't just cast say, oh, he's got the right hair. He's going to be great. You know, it has to be about what kind of story it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what, what's called for in the characters, it can be different. You know, like, you know, the original, you know, Sp what Tobey Maguire did in the first Spider-Man movie he did is completely different yep. than what Tom Holland is doing. That's correct. That is correct. You know, like, and it's not, it, I mean, we love Tom Holland, but I don't know if he would have been as good in that version of Spider-Man. Because it wasn't as fun. It wasn't as light, you know. Yep. So that's the thing. If the static story is going to be heavy and dark, then it needs us one kind of actor. If it's gonna be big and actiony, and he's gonna be flying around and doing a lot of flipping and stuff, then it needs a different kind of actor. That's true, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and it's funny because before, before Miles started getting his big, big, you know, shine and all the love that Miles been getting, it's, it was static for me. So I was like, I'm like, man, I can't wait till we get the static. And it's once you once you go into like the story of why we haven't got more static and stuff like that, it's like. Like you understand, and it's kind of like, ah, man, I wish, I wish we can get this right because we definitely, you know, I think that this is definitely the representation that we would love to see. Um, right. But it was like, yes, yeah, like, but then, like I said, when you read the comic books, you think about the anime, you, you know, even when you play the Injustice games in just general, just like when you start thinking about, like, yeah, there is two, there's, I mean, there's two sides of static that you can tell. Like you said, it can be the dark, it can be the happy, it can be the, it can be the super action packed. It's like which one they're going to tell. Um, but like, I, I do hope they do get it out. You know, uh, they get it right. They, you know, everything that's going on behind the scenes. I hope they figure it out because I do believe, I do think that we need more static, man. Like static was such, like yeah. I know it was, it was, it was one of those things. Like it was a Saturday morning cartoon, and I just remember, like when I watched it again, not even like equating it to like Marvel and DC that heavily, but just in general, yeah. just like. Man, I love I love the whole idea of it. I mean, even with the boom babies and everything, I'm like, this whole idea, I can relate to it so much. And it was right. so important to my childhood and everything. So it was like, yeah, man, I hope that we definitely can get some type of, you know, thing rectified with that and start getting more static. No, 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 we don't want some type. We want a static story as good as the, because because that's the thing is a lot of people, I mean, you know how it is when we kids, yeah. you see something and you just love it. Yeah. You're not assessing it you're not breaking it down but the truth of the matter is the reason you love static the reason it resonates 20 years later 
is because of the quality. Yeah. It's because of the intention behind it with Milestone. Milestone wasn't just like, hey, let's just take some old cartoon characters and color them brown. No, they had a purpose in mind. And that was translated into that animated show. So to me, it's not just about bringing it back and redoing the same old thing. It's about carrying forward that legacy. No, I agree with what you said. Thank you for correcting me on that, man. I definitely do agree. Oh, um, no, no, I'm not correcting you. But I'm just like, I'm just putting this out there because there are a lot of people who don't, they think, you know, that it's just about a look or it's just about the color of the costume. And and I get that, you know, when you're taking it in, I don't want you to think, I want you to feel it. Yeah. But I do want people to understand that there is much more going on. And the reason we haven't had static Part of it is, you know, you know, that the the rights are very complicated. But to me, in a little, in a certain way, that's a good thing. In that, I know that the people behind Milestone, the people who cared, the people who created that wonderful thing in the beginning, are still behind it now. Yeah. As opposed to rights just getting sold off, and you know, oh, there's a dude in China who bought it now. We don't know. He, you know. You know, he's never heard it in English, but he's going to do, you know, three different versions. Yeah. And, you know, it, but, but it also, it, like, like you said, it keeps that prestige because you seen it. You've seen us from having campy, horrible movies. You know, you've seen the Catwoman with Holly Berry and Daredevil to right. now where these movies are being taken serious. Right. So, right. like, if we, you know what I'm saying? So, the great thing about that being so tight held is we don't have horrible properties of it. You know, right. that woman was done bad and then it was done a little bit better. Then it was done a little bit better. Right. We just we just got the greatness of static. And mm. then that's it right now. So we don't we don't have to go through those woes of like, oh, we don't talk about that one. We don't talk about that one, right. <laughs> you know, with static. We got, you know, th that high level. And so it's, it's still it Absolutely. makes it, you know, it's good. Yeah, because there was nobody taking care mm. of that character. Yeah. You know, there, there was just like. Oh, Catwoman, that's next on our list. Right, yeah. Cash in. Yeah, let's give her a basketball scene where she's not really playing basketball. She's just moving like this, and she's right. like, cat, cat. like that, was, that was probably one of the worst scenes in the comic book movie history. 